Good morning. I would like to welcome you to the Merrick Avenue Middle School Honor Society induction ceremony. I ask that you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Today, we have the great fortune to witness one of the highest honors in the life of an adolescent. The Honor Society is an organization that salutes not only academic excellence, but also the characteristics that each honoree embodies. Character, leadership, service, and citizenship. Over the course of two years, comprised of unforeseen circumstances, our inductees rose to the challenge and went beyond academia making an impact on the lives of many through their contributions to our school and community. They exemplified through their countless efforts a willingness to be change agents, civic-minded leaders, and ambassadors of those that came before them. On behalf of the Belmore Merrick Central High School District, thank you for your service and commitment to excellence, and we are honored to salute you this morning. I would now like to introduce our principal, Ms. Dunn, to share some opening remarks. Good morning, guys. All right, try this again. Good morning. Thank you. We're still sleeping second period. On behalf of the staff at Merrick Avenue, it is a pleasure to welcome you both in person and those of you who are watching at home to this wonderful celebration. In particular, I would like to say a big welcome to the parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles, and whoever else may be watching virtually today. The love and support you continue to provide these honorees is certainly a contributing factor in their success that we will be honoring today. Today is a special day. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of these incredible students seated before us. We celebrate their demonstration of man's pride, patience, responsibility, integrity, dedication, and empathy. Over the past two years, the honorees in this room today have accumulated over a thousand hours of combined community service. This was done during a time when not just our community, but the entire world needed volunteers, needed help, needed service, and needed hope. Looking out at students before me today, I feel that renewed sense of hope. You set a goal in order to be sitting here today. You committed yourself to excellence, to excelling in the classroom, actively participating in school activities, devoting hours of your time to helping others, and modeling the kind of character we want all students to embody. We are so honored to acknowledge your achievements of this goal, and I am confident that this is the first of many achievements to come. Continue to dedicate yourself to your studies, keep that intensity in focus, and never stop taking care of the community around you. Congratulations to this class of 2021 honorees for attaining entry into the Merrick Avenue Middle School Honor Society. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Rachel Mathulio. Thank you, Ms. Dunn. Ms. Dunn, members of the faculty, parents, and students. Welcome to the 2021 Belmore Merrick Central High School District Honor Society Induction Ceremony. I am Rachel Matthew Leo, and I am both the Library Media Specialist and the Honor Society Advisor here at Mass. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our Honor Society. Students and parents, I hope you understand that to have been asked to be here today is a great honor, something that each of these students has worked hard towards over the last two years. These last two years that you have spent in middle school have been unlike any others. But the perseverance and dedication each of you has shown to fulfill the commitments required of Honor Society membership are a true testament to you, each of you as a student and as a young adult. Our school is proud to induct new members each year and today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the years, members of our Honor Society will continue to serve as role models for other students as they progress through their educational career. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, 
Our Honor Society members are participants in many organizations and serve our school and community through many activities, including volunteering their time through various clubs and teams at Merrick Avenue Middle School, volunteering for the Belmore Merrick Community Cover, with the PTA, and with other various community-based organizations. For me, as an advisor, it has been a privilege to work with each of you as you worked enthusiastically to complete all of the requirements for membership. From answering basic questions about what constitutes community service, to advising you on how to find an activity that means something more than just the accumulation of hours, being the Honor Society advisor has been a truly rewarding experience. Furthermore, reading each of your essays has brought me such joy in this most unusual time. These essays provided me with insight into your personal lives, allowing me to see your initiative, your dedication and commitment to the community service in so many different ways, your empathy and passion for helping others, and in turn, allowed me to get to know each of you a bit better. I know after reading these essays that these Honor Society inductees will be kind, empathetic, community-minded citizens of the world as they continue on in their lives. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Merrick Avenue Middle School's chapter of the Belmore Merrick Central High School District's Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates, scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Will our panel readers please join me on stage. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is, will a student is willing to spend hours in reading and study knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we lead the past, and the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have, to, have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the daily work, where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is a quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, 
they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is, the force, character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor, uh, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily with him. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is a problem of self-control. We must be we must be in reality what we wish to appear to others to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities of respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. And citizenship. citizenship, the obligation which each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideal given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home, community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizenship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that we have been granted to us and preventing injustice from entering our lives. The members of the chapter are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. Pillar leaders, you may rejoin the audience. Thank you. the new inductees please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the pledge. I'm going to read it line by line so you don't have to remember it all at once. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of honor society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship. And now, I will read the names of all of this year's Honor Society inductees. Jillian Maltese. Samantha Mariach. Emily Maxwell. Christian Maestri. Charlotte McElwain. Madison Minitti, Ryan Morash, Lily Napoli, John Napolitano, Luke Napolitano. John Nevin, Samantha Odin, Bianca Parente, Kyle Park, Thomas Perper. Jennifer Pino, Leah Pollock, Lucas Paparo, 
Catherine Pichella, Harnick Purewall. Amelia Rispanti, Sophie Reese, Brandon Richardson, Isabella Rohr, Thomas Rooney. Catherine Salvatore, Nico Sarantacos, Zara Selvin, Kira Sheridan, Mia Steinen. Giovanna Schwarz, William Siegel, Maya Silkowitz, Keith Silkerstein, Zach Sigrom. Addison Sofer, Haley Sophia, Halston Solomon, Simona Sosin, Ashley St. Surin. Ella Stanek, Caitlin Stibritz, Matthew Stone, Alan Su Chen, Troy Sylvia, Emma Siska, Julia Tabor, Matthew Taumina, Preston Torres, Mason So, Dana Baglio, Ileana Waldman, Jacob Wexler, Kyle Wilcha, Julia Wilson. Benjamin Wolfsetter, Jocelyn Young, Aaron Zakaria, Isabella Zini, and Cameron Zubria. Sorry, Zubria. Thank you all for attending our in person slash virtual honor society induction ceremony. Although it was a bit different this year, the high honor remains unchanged. Please join me in congratulating these incredible students. And inductees, please enjoy the pride that you should be feeling at this moment. The pride you should feel for this accomplishment and know that the entire MADS community also shares in this pride. Thank you and be well.